Clue. This is Kara Dreamer again. <clears throat> Oops. Um. <coughs> Kara Dreamer making the mistake of choking on the, some chocolate ice cream. Well, you know how uh, how we uh, we Karas we love our chocolate. Anyway, um, and I'm about to resume my playthrough of Night in the Woods uh, after I do one thing real quick here. I gotta tell everyone I'm doing this. doing something, not sure what. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. She was in the earth. She do do Okay, is this all set up? properly still. Looks like it. Uh, that. And I am ready. Alright. Let's do this. Okay. Well, I was just wandering into town, so... Hey, Selmers! <clears throat> Gee, May. You sick? Nah. Just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true. They are like that. Got one ready for longest night. No. Longest night, longest night, night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks. I'm feeling festive. You noticed anything like weird around here lately? Weird as in ghost man? A ghost man? Yeah? Not that I recall. I think I'm going crazy. I think maybe I'm seeing things. My mom sees ghosts. Swears so there's one in the basement, but she's wrong. How do you know? I live in the basement. Are you a ghost? Eh, not yet. Forecast is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. Uh, I don't think it's astronomy time yet. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anyone up there. Oh wait, I need to I need to actually talk to the guy. Getting cold early this year. No bode well. Ah, uh, spoonful of ice cream here. church.
Yeah, I'm supposed to tell the preacher about, you know, the message from Bruce. See, you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh, jeez. I'm betting not. God's patient, hon. Like nature. That is such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing going on, so just ignore me. Okay, hon. Can I do anything? Not really. Love you. What is it? I don't know. Purposely committing this scene to memory. Taking a brain photo! Haha, <laughs> yeah. Like when I was a kid. Your dad was great with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap! Got your picture! Snap, snap! Got yours too. Love you, sweetie. You too, Mom. Second. Statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. I'm finding it uh, uh, increasingly difficult to think of random things to say when walking. Oh. Hello. Wonder where Bruce has got to. Um, actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, mate? Bruce is going home. He... What? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him? Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, mate. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. I think she definitely knows something. My guess is that his family's dead. Two, three jumps is the uh, quickest way to get around uh, if, if I cared about quickness. So I can't get down there. The trouble with the uh, navigation around here is a little bit, uh, you know, like you can't ever quite be sure that you're supposed to be able to get somewhere or not. Should I go? Hmm. Let's go with B again. Whoa! Whoa. Dude, you okay? Yeah, I guess, sure. Tired, had a headache for days. You should let it go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning, and I feel like someone else is in my head, and my skull is going to explode. So, yeah, not good then. 
Nope. Uh. What's that? get to hang out or something. Fine. You up for this park trip? Yeah. Wow, B, you let, B let you have the car two nights in a row? Yeah. Even after the flat tire? Well, I mean, you can't really do anything about that. And I replaced the tire. Oh, oh yeah. So, you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost! Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello, and me saying, hey, I verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff could be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Uh, no, no, I'm gonna be sick. Sorry. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts, and this is Angus. He doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. And Iris is out on May. Nice evening. Yeah, that's all right. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee, and I got hit in the teeth with the frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh, we stopped after the frisbee. It's a nice park. Posted, do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, clearly. Well, there's some folks living in cabins up here. You, you can um, feed and touch them if you want. Um, it's a weird old place up here. There's all kinds of weird stuff back up in the park. The old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. I uh, can't read the... I want to be able to read stuff on the bulletin board. I can't jump up that. Sorry, you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I save that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a uh, lime kiln, I think. Kiln? Like a furnace. Oh, furnace for what? Limestone. You, you like do something with it in there and it becomes this other thing. Uh, oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So, like, this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa. I know, right? Like, right where we're standing, there were, like, ancient, horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. 
So, uh... In this case, by the way, a lime kiln is used for converting calcium carbonate, or lime, you know, which is the primary ingredient in the limestone, into calcium oxide, or quick lime, which is then hydrated with water to, to make calcium hydroxide, or slaked lime, which is uh, a ingredient in um, cement. So, there you go. <sighs> Phew! Need to take a break? Oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. No problem. Whew. So if this place is underwater, why aren't there like ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. Not everything becomes a fossil. Well, why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. I think, look, all that crazy stuff is going on here. Well, there's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. it's fine. Hang in bang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Who doesn't? Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us. No, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes the most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. gates on the way up here. I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now. Just up ahead. Ooh. Tombstones. Graves? Oh, graves, huh? Yeah, these were... Oh, I forget. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. That, like, labor strike thing where it was, like, the miners versus the National Guard. Happened back in town, like, a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. And some of the miners that didn't want them buried in town. Oh. Huh. There's, like, a few old graveyards up here from, like, colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere, too. Well, that's spooky. Eh. Just bones. Ancient shark bones! Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. see town from here. But south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. 
So, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know, all the names and stories and stuff. I wish. I, I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something? Oh, no, no, no. Remember that time we were all at the longest night bonfire and we spotted the constellations together and you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh, wow. Maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember it now. Ugh, I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations, you tell me about them. Okay, then. Alright, find me some constellations. Uh, how do I interact here? Okay, wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Uh, just ones I remember, or dreamed that one time. Ugh, whichever. Remember Mr. Chazikov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill, and... Underhill. <laughs> Hobbit. He uh, has a, a telescope on his roof, and I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. Yeah, like, how am I supposed to do this? So there's different sounds, maybe? basis I'm supposed to be doing this. sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh, you remember the stories about the forest god? Oh, yeah! My granddad used to tell me Adina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, anyway, this cat was in there. Like, shiny things. Was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh, wow, yeah. I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then, he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh. Decent? Extremely decent.
It's a Pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Oh, or at least the dude is. Bello? There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, well, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, he used to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big. What's the whale swimming in? Space! I guess it's dumb to get mad at ancient people. Well, one more, I guess. This is a little triangle. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye, looking at you. Okay, that's, um, I know, I know this one a little from, like, prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings? That makes sense. It's gonna be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound, usually. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means we're not going to get rung to death by a bell. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So, you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, I don't believe in ghosts or gods or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. People have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but... Uh, I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me. And my mom didn't either. And like... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot, and my mom was probably worse. She, like, wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> She'd, like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard, and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. God, Angus, I didn't know it at all. Awful. He'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes, or overnight. So, I'd like try to develop psychic powers so I could like signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I like started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid! Oh, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can, can I go kick all their asses? Like, I got experience. I can fuck some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I, ugh. Still have to go visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. 
my dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. Ah, well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. And anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. Oh, no, Angus, no, 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 no. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know. Save me a little bit, I guess. Ah, <sighs> man. I I'm gonna, you know... You know, full disclosure here. I think very little of people I, who make a point of identifying themselves as skeptics. Like, skepticism is a necessary uh, skill, but it is not an end in itself, and, and I don't really, I don't think people who make it one are, uh, let's just say that they, um, they still have a lot of work to do. Let's just put it that way. Anyway. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts are God. So, like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, so, well, like, the constellations, I don't believe there's a whale out there, but... I believe that the stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines to the spaces between stars. Like, we're pattern finders and we'll find patterns and we'll, like, really put our hearts and minds into it, and even if we don't mean to. So, I believe in a universe that doesn't care the people who do. That's mm. actually a little hard to disagree with. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like God found them. Like when they were having bad times, like he did. God never did. I was completely alone in that pantry. A few years later, Greg did. So like, the stars can stay up there and... Stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us, but this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. Oh, yes. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall. Wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh, God. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us. God, oh God. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May, no. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma... I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No, no one in heaven and earth could stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. Alright.
whatever it is, moves fast. <laughs> you okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be. Oh. I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost, or it was some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went up went to where you threw up. Uh, that wasn't too far from there. Why is no? Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have an idea of what's going on? There's a ghost following me. Like, it keeps showing up when we go out to, like, investigate it. For all of those times, it could have just been a random person. No, I can, I can, like, feel it in my head. Why do you think I freaked out earlier? I know you guys don't believe me. It's, it's not that I don't believe something that's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all this. Well, like what? You have like sudden stress migraines and you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out. I got migraines. In May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And, I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm, I'm going up into the woods. If I know this thing is up there, I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really going to hike. You're really going to hike up past the basketball court. It's late, dude. What do you all care? You, you don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Huh? Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, oh, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Oh, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Thank you for believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering around up there alone at night. Close enough. Alright, let's hunt some ghosts! I haven't been on a hike, night hike, in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. Alright, I got work in the morning. So let's go catch us a ghost. Angus is psychic, but his hat walks. Okay, I guess that's just the end of the map. Always going wrong. I should... It points in the direction that I should be moving. I don't don't have to back up ever. How have I never been back up here? Uh, fences work. Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk of trees and animals. Does it be? Nothing. Nothing. 
I was praying. Wow! Really? Yeah. Let's go. Not to, not to Jehovah, I hope. That would disappoint me. I mean, she's got that onk around her, her neck, but, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean... Turn rail cart or mine cart, perhaps. Wow! Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up in here? <sighs> What's up? Nothing. I just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So? It's out here in the dark. So old. So old. So old. So old. Dude! Hey! Hey! I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo. Fun. Yeah, May is kind of behaving weird here. about like what the huh oh my god no no ah oh, hell he's awake already anyone got any juice no no guys ah oh, hell guys guys wait Lur, you knew this was going to happen. You knew at the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake! I owned up to it! Lur, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click-clack. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw-up. Ugh, his leg's stuck. And it wasn't like he could have called couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish he could have called me, Lur. Think any of us want to do this? Guys, we could figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But 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 I, I got family! Lur, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not going to budge with that leg sticking straight out. Oh, hell. Dave! Rick! Benny! Guys, you know me! Alright, Dave. You hold him. I'm sorry, Lurp. You know, we got no choice. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop laying a guilt trip on us. No! Hold him still! Uh, that's... Yeah. I'm not screaming, sorry. Hold still. This will go easier if... Uh, Alright. He's free. Lurv. Lurv. Ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and... Uh, still screaming. Like, I guess I would be too. Uh, oh, hell. Let's get this over with. We should just make this easy, Lurv. God, his bone's sticking out. <gasps> the hell? Shit! May! May Borowski! Run! I just run and run and run. Uh-oh. Um, uh... So 
What the hell was all that? Oh, I'm already in part four. Um. Nice. Nice. Yep. Dude, you're way better at this than I am. I'm not this good at, like, anything. I still play a lot. Got lots of old games at home. Collect them. Huh, I've never been over to your place. I don't take anyone there. Secret? I live in a tree. I believe that. Okay, well... Wait, I'm Greg now? I used to skate. I wasn't super good at it. I could skate. I'm a skater. Skate to create! I do what I like. Just have a second. Idea. No response from her parents. Hey, that's bad. It's not great. Jeez. I don't see the dude. He was outside my building last night. Late. Any ideas who these people are? Zero clue. I can't come with up any can't come up with any explanations that aren't nuts. Any dark earlier. Okay, so, got brownies, got sodas. Hey, Captain. Hey, Bug. You making, like, three dinners at once? Brownies are in the oven. Thinking about making that lasagna we got and forgot about. We have lasagna? Yeah, way back in the back. I thought that was, like, the wall. Nope. Hey, hun. Maybe you should go to sleep or something. Barely sat down in the past 24 hours. Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Dude, let me take care of you. This this stuff I'm doing, this, this helps me. Okay, that's cool. We are going to make it through this. We are going to make it through this. Love you. Love you. Aww. You should hug him! Hug your boyfriend! Hey, just want to say, it was cool of you to go to Possum Jump with May. I know the scout camp isn't, like, the most fun place from when you were a kid. It's cool. Like, it was cathartic. Nice. I need to defrost the lasagna, or, or do I? Do you cook it frozen? Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Wait, everyone shut up! What's that? What? I heard it too. Seriously? What? someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Crap. Oh, 
Poor May! Must have taken this bad tumble. Are we even anywhere, f anywhere uh, recognizable that we've been before? Because none of this looks like any part of town we've been to. I mean, maybe she's just out on the highway, except there's mailboxes. Agonizing. Oh, she's too tired. She's dying. God is here. Ack. In this room. I believe that. Times like this, call out and know that her cries are heard. <laughs> While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something to May about May. It'd be nice. May... May was a good girl. She and I explored the stars, and, and she loved to hear about them. She... I, I, I'm sorry. It, it can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as a kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce, and... I just think it's not fair that May of all people should have trouble. Where's the god in that? Where's the higher power? It's all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, someone. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace, and I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you, William. Oh, speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to us in all the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out exactly what happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah. They were out in the woods at night, down in the end of the Center Avenue, and someone was out there hunting illegally, and they got shot at. May fell, and she must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time, and... Oh, well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. So, I guess the kids must have lied about what they saw. They're, they're afraid. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, supposed to be fixing a door. In 
here. Nope. Okay, so she's gonna be fine for today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor! The house is gone. May! Oh, thank God! What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May? Honey? Everything. Oh, she's back in bed. Ugh. Oh man, those. Wait, what's? It's a little funny though. Like she's still so uh, hurt. Like, why is she back home? kind of makes it look like the church. Greg? Holy crap, May? It's May! Holy shit, dude! I thought you were going to be dead! Not yet. He came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! God, that arm flap thing of his. Feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Her mom said it's <clears throat> her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. Sure hope she's alright. Mm-hmm. Both of you! Shh! So, how well do you know this guy? Uh, we order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highways, now that possibility is closed down. I thought you true were trying to save money. So, sorry, that was wrong voice. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't, don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I, I, I could spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here till we die. All right, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him, the pizza guy. Pizza's here. Oh, well, I guess that actually was the pizza. Oh. Uh, so, what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice. Huh. Yeah, nice. I had this dream, or, or like a vision, or, or I time traveled. I don't know, I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. 
I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You, you scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. No, come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. Uh, B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have, have B drive you home? I will. May? I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, love you, sweetie. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like to puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I guess so. Not really. I was, like, really worried. You were correct to worry. It was bad. Yeah. Don't ever get seriously injured again, okay? What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the Gnar 3. Wow. I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. Gonna like wander around your apartment. That's what it's here for. Okay. What? Is there a signal here? Wi-Fi. Ah, okay. I got like a mental map of all the Wi-Fi spots in town. What is it with Possum Springs and no signal? Eh, out here in the hills and we're not big enough to get towers or something. Huh. Hey. Yeah? If we're all still alive or whatever, we should like maybe hang out more. I kind of thought you found me really annoying. Eh. I'll take eh. I'm totally shipping B and uh, and May. By the way, you, sh you should just know that. Like they got a sort of uh, you know, I'm, you know, they they got a kind of antagonistic rapport right now. But you know, they could be the next Braddy and Caddy. Yeah, let's sleep. Hey, everyone, go to bed now. Holy crap. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. See ya. Bye, germ. Hey. Hey, Greg. You awake? Yeah. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago. Back then you said you went all crazy, but, like, that's not really a reason, I guess. Oh, this must be the incident that put someone, kid putting the kid in the hospital. I was playing that game where you, like, dated ghosts. I remember that one. Had a hot skeleton. Oh, Sands, then. Alistair, or something like that. Yeah, you were crushing hard on those dank bones. Oh my god.
Excuse me. Oh no. I right, sorry, I just I just spotted some bad news. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to get back to this, but I need to duck out for a few minutes. Uh, anyway, uh, back in, I don't know, five or five at most, I'll try to make it. to the game. Sorry. Anyway, back to Greg, who, you know, apparently wanted to date Papyrus or something like that. You're crushing hard in those dank bones. I was playing it, like, 24-7 until this one afternoon. And suddenly, like, 
Something broke. It was just like pixels. Your, your computer broke? No, like reality broke. The characters on screen, like, like I felt like I knew them, but they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And, and this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And like that realization, like dumped out of the screen and, and into real life. One outside and then the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by and he was just sh shapes. Like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. Man, that sounds like an extreme... Like, what's the term I want to use? Dissociation? It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Dude, why did you tell me? I don't know. What could I have said? This all happened, like, the day before that softball game. I mean, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was so scared for you. When Andy stepped up, it was like... And he was just shapes, too. Just lines someone wrote. Like, nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat. Just, just shapes. Red shapes. All over the grass. There, there wasn't that much blood. Oh, God. I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if he, like, wondered why. What are you done? It, it was probably an asshole. No, dude, I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well, then he had to go to therapy. Yeah, Dr. Hank and his journaling. Dr. Hank's messed up one of my tooth fillings. Yeah, he's not good at what he does, which I guess is understandable because he does like everything. I meant to ask you, did that journal shit? It actually work? Kinda, sorta. It helps me like grab onto things and keep them in one place. Whoa. But since that whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, listen, okay? Sorry, dude. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was a statue of, like, the founder of something. A really shitty statue, like, all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And it was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude, finally I got up the courage to leave and I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke in my head, in my life. Dude, you should have called me. We, we could have come and rescued you. Would have, like, kidnapped you. 
I like couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I don't. I didn't even come home for the longest night. I just stayed in my room in bed. That's that's horrible, dude. I I thought when I came home, I I just I felt so safe here and everything made sense for a few days, and then all this and and dude, dude, shh, you're gonna be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. I... Is she gonna have a nightmare? Uh, she just probably just got up in the middle of the night, so it's still dark out. Uh. Bye, guys. Love you. Uh-oh, this isn't good. May. This was not a bright thing to have done. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine. Let's do this. Fuck! Nice shot. I wasn't aiming for his shoulder. Arrgh, you fucking shot me! Hey, asshole, get away from her! Three of us, one of you. And none of us got bolts sticking out of us. I'm gonna fucking fuck you up! Yeesh. Arrgh. What? You okay, dude? Where did... Hey, jerk. Why the hell are you out here by yourself? This is all because of me. Oh, yeah, dude. All your fault. You definitely made these dudes creep around following us and, like, kidnapping someone, maybe. Yeah, you did it with your fucking mind control powers. Dude, come off it! He... It's... I, it's in my dreams. Dude... Dude, you don't get to do this, okay? I don't get everything that's going on with you, and I'm not saying that it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do. But you don't get to die on me. You are not going to do that to me, okay? But, dude, I, I'm not going to lose you, okay? You can't make me lose you. Would you let me go like this? Dude, dude that's cheating. We've been best friends since forever, you big, dumb idiot. And I, even if this is all somehow in your head, which it isn't, I would still back you to the actual God's honest end. Jeez, me too. Clearly. Clearly, we all would be. I shot a dude for you! Come on! And if we keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry and... Greg... <coughs> Thank you. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah. What do we do? All of them, I guess? Y'all wait here. I'll go. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and time up? Or something. Can you walk me? think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. 
thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go die or something, but hopefully not. Gates open. I'll tell you what this is slightly reminding me of is is uh, of all things hot fuzz, where it turns out there's this weird cult of all the leading uh, members of town who are, who are trying to keep the town clean. Oh jeez, what? Could like lock it shut or something? Ah oh, dang, you're right. No. I have to go down in there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy? Just one guy. Just one something. Bang bang! God, you're being awfully chipper about this, Greg. Oh, good, they're all with her. Jeez, spooky. I don't think we get to complain about spooky. We left our precious robot boy out in the woods. That's spooky. That yeah, dude, we created a legend. What are you two even talking about? It, it's been a weird few days. I'm actually going to turn my second monitor off here. Let me find the fucking switch. Ah, uh, nuts. Forget it. Anyway. There's a lever that doesn't seem to be interactable. Probably will become be become interactable. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. Are we sure we want to do this? Yeah, May, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <coughs> he's he's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I, I don't know what's going to happen down there. Alright then. Down we go together. Ugh. That thing looks old. I haven't used this mine in like a lot of years, generations even. Are you a tour guide now? We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure? Here we are. <coughs> hey, you okay? I, I have my inhaler. No, I'm I'm fine. I'm just it's just like it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. No, it's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something down there. You going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Okay, we'll be silent terrors. We'll be ghosts. The bowels of the earth. What an 
interesting way to draw it, like with stars all around. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Jeez, what is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like junk. Oh god, oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through there. Like the, uh, inverse uh, uh, pentagram there just a uh, the universal symbol of creepy shit going on down going down somewhere okay this is I hope someone brought a flashlight um, I know you're in here Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple of step more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself! Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. There's gonna be hundreds of them. There they are! They're right there! I'm gonna kill them! I'd, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. You shot me! And I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call, I'm sorry. Uh, it's... Okay, I didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnness to protect their own and their neighbors. The, 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 why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? No one is going to kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just by being hard workers. Contributors. Um, okay... So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason, and he is not going to let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's going to be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think that I'd... You kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's... He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired constant headaches. He's been following me. Following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... Or I felt it? it? was Ed Scudder and Jim Doherty who found it. Twenty years back or so. After the West Mine closed out past Brittle... Best Schumacher, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door, and you got this mine, the old one, not even a proper mine, big hole, copper, abandoned, shoot, long before any of us were born, too close to water, and that water was poison when the first settlers came out here. That old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper until Ed busts through that wall and finds this place. Jim walks right into that hole. 
never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl, in our dreams, in our waking times. That's what brought you down here. What? What is it? Black goat. Not even black like color. Black like the space between the stars. He was down there in that hole, looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. Why would you just do something a hole in a cave told you to? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Job's gone, our kids are leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. While we worked ourselves to death. Uh, here we go. God damn, I hate this crap. You old dipshit. You finished. Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church, but when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. So, this is... This is, um, Shadow Over Innsmouth. This is the Church of Dagon. Similar, similar plot. A town in economic decline uh, ends up with this weird revitalization when uh, uh, one of its main members says, yeah, you start praying to this Dagon fella, he's actually gonna give us stuff. So, yeah. Oh, God, I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? One he's taking a shining to. It rubs off on you. He can do things. I never seen it, but they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger. Money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. First time? First one into the hole by our own hands. We own up to what we do. I was there. I was too. You throw them in the hole. They're... They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing and it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. You think I'm gonna be sick? We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks. Shit. Delinquents. You've been, oh God, oh no. How many people have died down there? Oh, I'd say three dozen, give or take. Thirty-nine. Am I the only one keeping steady count? I do now. Early on, I think we all wanted to forget. I still got a feeling heart. It still hurts. Yeah, that dirtbag kid from the spring. Casey? That Hartley kid? All he was going to contribute to society except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad was a rap sheet a mile long. For whatever sad end uh, he'd wind up at, if we did him a favor, you, you killed Casey. Oh my God. We don't use that word. You know, he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive and his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits and they clean him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor. Shoot the fucker. God, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared about more about him before it came to this. 
Which one of you did it? Craig. He was my friend! Alright now. Throw it down right now. Or I will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. Uh, throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Awesome Spring survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. It used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster? A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground? But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. to die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old, and even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really, you're like pitching us on this. Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club for someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> Does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. Beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Awesome Springs bleeds to death. And soon, we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So, we can leave. No one's gonna stop you. But understand, you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair, they get, they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Ida. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. I'd, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. The truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> I, I can't move you guys. I'll carry you.
brain is in pieces right now. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we going to do? We'll crack that one when we're far away from here. I don't know if I... Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I, yeah. And for what? I, I think I get it. Wow, really? I'm too tired to explain it right, but, like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen, which is what had happened, like, a long time ago, or how they remember or, or like, picture it, and the things it gave them. So, Casey and that kid at Harfest, and... Uh, sorry, I lost it. Well, there's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh. I thought I... that one guy trying to get a little bit of revenge out of it. Holy God. Is everyone okay? May! 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 Say something! <laughs> Why are we laughing? It's okay now. We messed that guy up. He's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So, how are we getting out of here? Shh, let me rest. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Hank, it's... Yeah. I love you. Aww. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered again, which is weird. <coughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's a charm. Guys, the air is coming from back here. All right, I'm up. Are you sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can, sm you can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Uh, right. Oh, she's got some Springer stuff again. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot of water. 
right. Yeah, wasn't there one following me? are now. I think I knew before, but, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. That's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry it got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more. It's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream, or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared, all the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long, hiding, trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt when my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map. I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again, and I want it to hurt, because that means it meant something. It means that I, I am something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. Oh. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here, then do it. If not... May! Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, no, I, I think I'm good. I just very, very tired. Hang in here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh huh. Hey, there's light over there. Did you smell that? I bet he did. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keeps the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. Hmm? Rocher. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! Could get lucky if someone's out here in the woods at night. I I could try to make it out. Oh, I could like Okay. Yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper? Like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, whoa, whoa, I almost died, and you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Uh oh. Okay. okay. There, thank you. Those. Okay, well, uh,. Ride those dolphins up out of here. Uh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. I 
Can I jump? Yeah, I can. Ooh, music. Jump, kitty, jump! This place. Huh. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing up out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We we're all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It, it's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Yeah, and you go get it? Hey, <clears throat> Hey, May. Yeah? Was that? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the, in the woods. I'm getting my voices all fucked up. <clears throat> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, um, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you, like... I don't know, seal up this well. Hmm. I got dynamite! Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, I could get some. Uh, how big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Oh, I was kind of hoping we get to see a bl explosion. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave in. Uh, that was self defense! I guess. But we did cause the deaths of, like, a dozen guys. No! They're, they're all still alive down there! Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray! We're, we're not murderers! Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Um. What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Huh. This is like that trolley thing. Oh, God. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Hey guys, um, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell just even happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever.
I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked into all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did. And I guess that's really scary. Like, who knows what's gonna happen? But I guess you can, like, connect things or connect to things. Sometimes you need someone to be the thing you don't have. Even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Hell well. Am I ever gonna have a handle on what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's over. I want us all to get free of it. I don't want us to just be part of some horrible story. I want to, like, grow giant and pick y'all up. Carry you someplace safe. Sorry. I'm all rambling now. I just gotta believe there's ways to escape. Or at least move on. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. I don't know if my better friends exist. They're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. If you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh, shit. Ah, guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, me. Log off. Oh, that's so. So she did have a crush on Greg. That's cool. Interesting. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs you we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really? You massive torque, lol. Band practice today, because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. I guess I'm near the end here. God, it's us. It's just us. Home and, and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not going to cry today. We're going to eat you th for Thanksgiving, bird. I should, like, reread some of these. I mean, I got time, and the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. At least 1937, 
shapes from beyond the veil of space as a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre. An influence of much of 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. Yeah, that does sound like a bit like a pseudo Lovecraft story. Like, you know, uh, it kind of teases a couple Lovecraft titles. Hey, Granddad's Clock. Hey, Granddad. So one thing that's not come up again is that tooth that I found. Is that just flavor? Like, is it just story flavor? Or is it... I thought that was maybe going to be a plot item. Like, like it was just, you know, a sign that, uh... Um... That Granddad, uh, as much as she loved Granddad, was, was in this weird fucking cult. Anyway. May, honey, is that you? Yeah! I'm back in the kitchen, if you want to talk. Hello, cat mom. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been... I just... I... You're an adult, and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Oh, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules just because, honey, you could have died the other night and, and you just and you just left to hang out with your friends? I, I, I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll, I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. I'm sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. <laughs> Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. Ha <laughs> Sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town, close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow! Calling for some snow, too. Oh, that went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, huh? Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Are you still reading the same book? Oh no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool! Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Sure. Far from here, the ocean's roaring. Far away across the din, I hear the Lord I call their children. Bringing in, bringing in. I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other friend and kin. I hear the Lord call their children, bringing them in, bring them in. Tarry with me for a moment, talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven, bring them in, bring them in. That's nice. It is. It is nice. <laughs> I guess that's probably the end of it. Yep. Oh, hello, Dad. <laughs> hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. Uh, you okay? Yeah. I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad. Why? 
mine. I made glass. I've done a heap of other stuff. This place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while. But here, I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So, what I got is a tooth. Uh, a what? Do you know what this tooth is? No. Oh, really? Sure. Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. Hey, thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of a skull yesterday. You show that to your boss, tell him to eat shit. Hey! Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. Me. Yeah? Come down and pick it with us if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kid. Be back later, Dad. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start in our longest night lights plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet, see if they even work still. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad! Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Hey, May. What's up, Selmers? You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all... We got some migraine meds if you need it. No, no, it's not a migraine. And, and those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. Or the spironolactone. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. That's it from Selmers. Snow coming. It's gonna be bad this year. Mr. Chazikov, got any more dust stars we can look at? One more. <laughs> Found it! Let us consult the guide. Erskine the Firemaker. Firemaker? A wanderer in the cold and dark, making a fire and huddling up to it for light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Huh. The star makes me want to cry. Crying on my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all. Well, we didn't really discover them, right? 
I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them, and we just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really? Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars, or name them, but we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened, because hearing it happened to you. That is nice. It's not bad. So, what now? Super moon is coming. What's that? A giant moon. Ooh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on their roofs. You come, I will make the hot chocolate. What a time! That sounds great! I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, Stargazer. Now I'm kind of wondering if I can jump, uh, if I jump down from the roof, will I jump into that little area? I'm guessing not. Nope. Darn. This has changed. Huh, looks about the same to me. I think there's one thing missing anyway. church Pastors here. Ah, mom's not here either. All oh, right, she's not working. Duh. Preachers out by where Bruce used to be. I'm guessing Bruce is dead, unfortunately. I mean, it kind of teases the idea that either he committed suicide or that he fell into the clutches of the cult there. He'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. Council vote go. You lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. 
We've got all this empty space. Could use it for so many things, but he tries. All we can do, and God will show up when the time is right. Bruce is my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. You need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, May. So my guess is that remembering the uh, the meeting with the uh, concerned citizens, who at least a couple of whom were all talking about how uh, you know, oh, you know, we're gonna attract business back to this town. It's gonna be great again. Uh, uh, people will be coming back. That you know, it's one can surmise that at least a couple of those concerned citizens were. Uh, um, in the, uh, the, the Dagon cult, the, uh, pseudo-Dagon cult. You know, they didn't want protection for the vagrants because the vagrants were people that they were preying on. They, they needed them out and, un and not, uh, safely housed. pregnant mother that was the raccoon mother or, or, but she's got a little baby raccoon hey it's you yep yep for now at least you know I never got your name I'm the janitor I clean up do fix it whatever needs done oh okay so what's it been like being home again Oh, things like you remember them? Kinda? I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How do you know? Call it experience. I swear, some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen, and I, and I feel like I should have woken up today. And like, I've learned something, but I don't know if I learned anything, really. I kind of have my feeling about playing this game. Well, my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. Sometimes you gotta wait a while, see what comes of it. Huh. Well, done on this day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. How if I see you first, May? Ha, ha, ha. Wait, how do you know my name? Ugh. I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Uh, janitorial work's about the only part of my job that I enjoy. So that's I think that's the first kind of um, lizard I've seen, and not not counting uh, uh, like alligators slash crocodiles. No one's here. since we got internet. 
<laughs> we were still using Cyberfish until like two years ago because it's eternally two decades behind here. It takes you three days to torrent a movie. It takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Oh my god, they deliver! I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos! So, you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. It, it's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There is snow in the sky falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Oh, I'm sure there are. Bad news. My ex hates tacos. Good news. They're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all this general region. Pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try our all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid, I'm working. I wonder if this is teasing this is where she's gonna apply for a job or something. Huh. Where's the other person? Oh. Who are you? Um, haven't you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. A bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you smelters fan? Um, no. Ah, oh, well. That's the end of conversation. Go into the subway. Abandoned subway, rather. Hey, you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, alright? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Uh, apparently. Life, man. It goes. Slowly. Ah, dude. Ah. Maybe this one time. Oh, man. I was sort of hoping he'd talk. When winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not a flooded ruin. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. Surprise? Nah, this seems like relevant. Well, look who's alive and well, you too. Yeah, yeah. You want to get out of here? Do band practice? Do I want to go anywhere else in town? Nah, yeah. Jeez, 
Jeez, the door never gets any less stuck. Worse when it's cold somehow. I'm so ready for cold weather. I'm not. It's been freezing here. Ugh, I hate winter. Winter's good, actually. Nobody here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. <laughs> Where would we even play if we wanted to? Hmm. I have no idea. Go play those Legion Hall shorts in Fort Lucene. Oh, those are fun. We'd be, those, we'd be the oldsters now. Yeah. So, um... You okay? I guess? I mean... As much as I can even tell today. Yeah. Hmm. Suspicious. Do you think those guys can get out of the mine? Um, I guess they're gonna find out pretty quick. Did you notice anyone missing today? I don't know, but I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never can tell. Never can tell? This kind of thing happen to you often? Oh, all the time! So, like, I don't really get what even happened down there with you and the whatever that was. The murder cult of dads. Sure. I kind of get them. Really? No. Yes. I, I don't know. It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back, like I was telling you about on the couch last night. God, that was last night? I think it was like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be weird when you're gone. Well, I mean, you've already been gone. And you've been gone at least once since you got back. You're a goner. Like, last night, it feels sometimes there's so much horrible past and it's still here. You're like swimming in it. And you can't have a future. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. That's it? What was our biggest crime ever? Um, bringing a horrible robot son into the world? And then leaving him to haunt the woods out by the highway? Actually, it was probably pra probably trapping those dudes in the mine and leaving them to die. That was self-defense! All that stuff. Like, today is different now. Because that happened. We're, we're different. Yeah. So, like... Things change, I guess. Like you said the other day in the woods, gonna be different because we were here. Yeah, that's something. Something, something, something. They killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we like tell his parents? What do we tell them? I, I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive or tell them he's in a bottomless hole in a tunnel in the woods with a bunch of guys who are going to be dead soon? We should tell them. Okay. You get to figure out what we say. Um, I'll let you know if I ever come up with anything. Sounds good. I think it's important that we know, at least. It makes it mean something. I, I don't know how to say it. I think we might be the only things in the universe who care about anything. Or who even can care. Do you think any of this means anything? Or, like, meant anything? Huh. Does it, Gregory? Hey, the others. Or one other. Hey, babies. Hey, hon. Babies? How's work? Jeez, I'm sore from, like, everything. I, I ran into, like, a zillion bushes the other night. Basically, my body hates me right now. I've gotta do stretches. So, like, can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? What? Um, uh, I thought you, like, couldn't leave home. 
Uh, you guys are home enough. Mm. Or maybe I'll just visit for a while, once you get settled in. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, dude, that'd be rad. Hey, guys. Yeah? Thanks for saving me last night, like, repeatedly. Not even a problem, dude. We'll save you as many times as it takes. Hey, B. Hey, B. Are you gonna say something? I really don't know what to say. What in the hell even happened last night? Uh, ugh, don't ask me. Can't we just, like, play a song and get pizza and think about this tomorrow? I had a dream that the world was ending. Song and pizza. All right. Sweet. It does, dude. What? Answering your question like two minutes ago. What question? What were you even talking about? Well, I guess that's the end of the game. What? So. God, I, I'm, I'm not sure how to how to rate this. It's um, I liked it a lot. It didn't quite blow me away like I was hoping. Uh, but then, you know, Undertale set a pretty high standard for me in that regard, and it, it's perfectly possible that no game is ever going to have that kind of effect on me ever again. That that might that might have been just like a, a first love kind of thing. Um, this game, what it makes it, what, of of re fairly recent games that I've played, that it, it kind of reminds me of in terms of emotional impact, is Gone Home, which is a game that I played immediately after Undertale. And there's a bit of, you know, incidental similarity in that in, in that it's it's it is too basically just an adventure game. Oh, <laughs> nice. An adventure game uh, where you're, expl you know, turning up clues, exploring an environment, although it's a much uh, smaller environment, and you're not interacting with people, uh, and has this kind of sweet emotional core, uh, you know, the, in the, uh, the love affair between the, the two girls in, in Gone Home, and this... Well, this doesn't have a, a sweet core, perhaps, although there's definitely the... When you see the, the deep friendships that, uh, that May does, in fact, have with Greg, and that, um, and with her mother, that, uh, yeah, like, oh, pff. this is, um... It has that feeling to me. Like this is this is a, a, a an emotionally involving game about some very intensely sympathetic characters, but it didn't really grab me by the throat. Aww. Well, I guess that is the end of the game and the end of my stream. Um, and I'm not sure what I'll be tackling next. Uh, Near Automata has been suggested to me as a, a possible target, but there are others. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, anyone did, and uh, this is Kara Dreamer signing off.